quick introduction on uh, some basic Photoshop skills, get you familiar with the interface and what you need to do to uh, understand how Photoshop works and manages your drawings and designs. So first of all, we're going to create a new file. And uh, the first thing you're asked is about the size of that file, which you can stipulate in pixels if you were doing something for uh, a, a, a screen-based application or centimeters or millimeters if you're going to do something that was more of a paper-based one. Uh, you could also choose particular sizes such as A4, A5, A6. Okay, we're going to go with uh, custom and we're just going to do something that's uh, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Okay, so just make sure that those are set to millimeters. Resolution is about the uh, quality of your image, the number of uh, pixels per centimeter or pixels per, per inch that you're going to have. We need to have a pixel resolution of a of 72, which is kind of standard print resolution for ordinary printers. If you were going to do higher quality work for things like magazines, they tend to have pixel resolutions of something like 300. But that does, of course, make the file size bigger. So uh, that's... Um, Bit problematic for us so we're just going to continue with a 72 pixels per inch resolution for now okay just for this exercise click OK so what you're presented with is the white area which is your working area and uh, a bunch of tools we've got the essential tools selected here if they are not popped out and your page looks something like this then just click on this arrow make sure you can pop them out and make sure you can see the layers tab okay make sure you can have this one because this is a very important area of the screen just down the right hand corner and what I'm going to talk about next <coughs> is concerned with layers okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is to be able to put some color on and in order to do that we look at our tool selection here on the right, on the left hand side uh, and this tool the bucket tool is something you'll be familiar with from paint okay you'll notice that I had to hold down that tool in order for the options to pop out we've got two choices here we've got the gradient tool or the bucket tool we're going to use the bucket tool in this case these are our color swatches and if I double click on those I bring up a color palette which I can sort of move between and for the purpose of this uh, exercise I'm just going to choose purple and I can fill that color quite quickly. If I want to do a gradient, I can choose that. Notice how as I change the tool, this area of the screen at the top, which is called the options bar, how that changes. If I just change a few tools, you can see that area of the screen changing. So with a gradient, I've got different kinds of gradient in this area. Uh, linear gradient, radial gradient, diamond gradient. I've got different presets here that I can choose from. Okay, this is the one that's fading between, excuse me, this one is the one that's fading between the two colors that are selected down here. Okay, so this is going from a purple to white. Uh, opacity is about how see-through it is, and the, the modes I'll talk about at another, another tutorial. So I can just draw and choose different gradients uh, and see what, let's see if I get one that I quite like. Okay, I'm going to go for that one as my gradient. Okay, so that's adding some color, and you can see that's added over on the right hand side here to the background layer. Now, we'd also want to uh, put some text on there, so I'm going to create a text layer using the text tool. Okay, I have, again, if I hold that down, uh, we'll see that I've got a variety of text tools. Just playing up a little bit. Horizontal and vertical type tool. I'm going to choose a horizontal tool and I'm going to choose a, uh, a font that's going to stand out. So I'm just going to swap those over. So now the white is in the background. I'm going to choose a relatively large font. And I'm going to give my DJ name. Uh, you can see as I bring my cursor up, I can highlight. As I bring it down, I get an arrow key to, to move. Okay, so we've managed to put uh, some color on a background layer and on a text layer. When I finish my text tool, I can press tick in the corner, and that puts my text layer in place. 